With Halloween quickly approaching, we thought we'd take a trip down memory lane and understand how chocolate came to be favorite candy for kids and, let's say, adults. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joining us now to talk about chocolate, sweet history, and current trends is lifestyle expert Karen Forsell. Karen, thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Yes, I really wanted to dive into the history because, you know, it is almost Halloween yeah. and yeah. we're seeing a lot of chocolate, but I really wanted to learn about how we got here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, chocolate is actually a fruit. So that is really, it's a really nice category so to think about. It's um, health food is what I'm hearing you say. Yes, like, <laughs> it grows, it's native to like Central and South America. It's it, a bean. Well, it grows in pods and then okay. in the pods are cacao beans. Oh, got it, okay. And so what, what that is, is like, the, so cacao nibs is basically the bean. Okay. But then huh. you would make the cacao paste from the bean. Got it, okay, okay. Got it. So the first sort of recollect, recollection or acknowledgement of chocolate or cacao was back in like 1500 BC. Huh. And they used it as ceremonial drinks and actually some currency. And then in the 1800s um, is when they started sort of basically making the paste, adding sugar, adding cocoa butter, and making it into chocolate. Ah. And then there was a Swiss chocolatier, his name was Daniel Peter, and he's really credited with adding in the dried milk powder, which brings us to the milk chocolate of today. He partnered with Henry Nestle, I'm sure we're yep. familiar Nestle. with yep. Nestle, yep. and that's how they brought it to the masses. But there's so many different infusions of chocolate yeah. in actual chocolate bars, and the flavors are incredible. Of course, there's dark chocolate, milk, and white. And I didn't know white chocolate has no chocolate in it. It has no chocolate in it. Oh, I didn't know But that they yeah. make it, yes. Oh. It's, it's equally delicious, but there is no chocolate Actual in chocolate it. In yes. Okay. So, and then we just see the infusion of chocolate in everything. So, we'll start with cigars. I found this. This is so interesting. Real cigars or edible cigars? No, no. These are real cigars, oh, not like the not like cigars. <laughs> this is from Ralph Cigars in Chicago, and what they do is they roll oh, a yeah. medium cigar with the, with tobacco from the Dominican Republic, but what they do is they put in the essence of chocolate and cognac. So this is their oh. chocolate cognac cigar, and um, it really, it smells good. You can, yeah. yeah, you can really smell it. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they then add it in and age it for like three months. And so the, the, the actual like flavors are gonna marry itself. And then when you do light it, it's gonna be giving you those velvety notes of chocolate, cognac, vanilla. This is one of those cigars I can actually stand from. Yeah, like being around, around. That so smells it smells really so good. good. And yeah. they do a lot of infusions and they're they're so, it's so cool. Like that I found it, I'm like, it has to go in my segment. Absolutely. Yes, really yes, cute. yes, yes. Okay. Chia? Chia Leah. Chia so, Leah. Yeah, so chocolate is a health food, dark chocolate, sure. I should say. And there's a woman out of, one, uh, out of Wilmette, and she really was struggling with a lot of health, health issues. So she's like, I have to work with my diet and incorporate things that are gonna make me feel better. Mm -hmm. So she, one of which is dark chocolate. And she incorporates that into a lot of great of products. Yeah. And she has, yes, this is their chocolate bark. She has a brick and mortar store in, in Wilmette, and she really infuses like her recipes with dark chocolate and chia mm. and walnuts mm. and dates and mm -hmm. so she really wants you to incorporate this into a healthy lifestyle. There are so many great Pumpkin properties seed. to chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, it's high in magnesium and iron so it's really good for you. It's really good. Wow, this is yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. we it love her. Like we a love fancy her. kind bar. Yeah, that's yes. really good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, okay well, this? chocolate cookie dough is having a moment, uh, okay. of course, or cookie dough in itself and this is Ike's Bake Fresh and this is basically bringing that nostalgic warm chocolate chip cookie to your home. Mm -hmm. They come in these puck and then you can actually bake it straight out of the tin. Oh. And you put the tin wow. right into the oven, so which is really oh, great. you make like a cookie pie. Yes, oh, you make like wow. a skillet. Delicious. And then once it's done, which I baked off last night, you can just eat it right out of there, put some vanilla ice cream, it's amazing. Yum. And it comes Delicious. in different flavors and it really brings back that warm, you know, chocolate chip. Totally. Or in this case, this is a double chocolate oh, um, And cookie. how fun for kids yeah, too. Totally. I can see Throw it in the oven, yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. I made it for my family the other day. They were like freaking out. It's just, yeah. it's so delicious. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay. Okay. Chocolate balsamic vinegar, right? Okay. And I, I made this for you guys because this is a finishing vinegar. Okay. It is chocolate essence that mm -hmm. is then added to aged balsamic. Okay. It is delicious on berries. Mm. Um, it's Ooh. incredible on cheese. I know we talked about cheese a little bit today. And then I actually I love it. That. Yeah. Yes, you can add it to a little bit of vanilla ice cream. And then the secret for that is also adding in some olive oil. Okay. Yes. So the to chocolate. To their own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So the chocolate's really infused, and it is a finishing vinegar. So, but some people do bake with it. They put it in, you know, either chilies 
or stew. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. that face. Okay. Uh, but you've got to trust me. It is delicious. Vanilla yeah. ice cream with olive oil and the chocolate vinegar. It just, it sort of explodes, and it's so yeah, delicious. I've got enough of this chocolate here. I can't taste a ton of that, but okay, it yeah. doesn't, t doesn't scare me. Well, it doesn't scare you. Yes, yes. 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 And yes. this is a syrupy, delicious, yes. to sort of like, at, you know, added, um, you know, beautiful little finishing to yeah. a lot of different things. So that's really great. Okay. Okay, chocolate infused in cotton candy. This is Art of Sucre, which is wow. sugar in French. Yep. And so their limited flavor of the month right now is s'mores. And so they make Fun. their cotton candy, they add in chocolate chips, graham crackers, and little marshmallows, and you just eat it out of the bag. It is delicious. Oh, that's cute. I, it's really cute. And they have the most bespoke and kind of fancy flavors. Cotton candy's having a moment right now. I know, so, I've seen all the places. Yes, yep. It's all over Instagram, it's all mm. over TikTok, so that's really fun. And what, last but not least? Beauty, beauty. You're gonna see chocolate, yes, yeah. skincare. A lot of the cacao butter, which is really great moisturizing. But again, this one's a chocolate, cinnamon. The It's really good exfoliating. Isn't that delicious? It's really sweet. It it's just hit me oh out. my God. <laughs> I, I'm like, it's so good. Um, so yeah, so chocolate in itself, like cacao or even like the nibs, it's very good exfoliating. And there's a lot of great properties. There's calcium, it's really good. So you're ingesting chocolate, but also on your skin, it's amazing for your skin. That's awesome. I, these, yeah, are, you know. these are such yeah. fun products. These Thank you so fun. much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. thanks great. for being my little taste testers. Yeah. Yeah.